Hello, I'm Marne, and this is my country farmhouse. I would like to show you a quilty little snippet here that I have behind me. Um, this is a special gift for my niece's son, Mason. So Mason, if you're watching, <laughs> this is your quilt. Um, Mason is just graduated and I wanted to give him a gift um, that would make a memory. So um, Mason was a motocross uh, rider and I thought this would be a great way to uh, make a quilt. So I ordered a motocross pattern from Etsy and I cut it up. <laughs> it was really pretty and I didn't know how to do it. This quilt I had no pattern for. This is just creative sewing and my imagination at its best. So this is what I came up with. Um, my quilt finishes at 62 wide, 67 inches long. So it's, oh, I think it's a pretty good size for a guy. So I started off with the idea of these stars. Um, I did six of these stars and I found that idea in, in a quilty magazine. Um, I liked the stars because I, I thought they were kind of, I don't know, they felt very manly to me. So um, I pulled out some fabrics out of my stash and I had this, I don't know, I call this like a paver uh, pattern or a brick pattern or maybe like tire treads. It kind of reminded me of tire treads. That's why I chose it. And I had four colors. I had the gray, the light brown, a darker brown, and a brick red. So I made four stars out of this pattern here with the different colors. And then I did two stars, one in, in the center on the top and the bottom. And this one is just a plain rust. And then the bottom kind of blends in. It's very dark. It's brown and it has uh, flecks of rust and, and gold in it, which I will get to that. So um, my motocross guys, I cut these four blocks there's four in action blocks on this and i cut them down to eight inches and i framed them around with a light and dark um grunge jelly roll the grunge jelly roll i did get from stash bash from my local guild that i go to and it worked great for this quilt because i like the grunginess of it it you know it kind of reminded me of that dirty feel and um it framed it out really nice so in the middle of my quilt here, I will show you, this was the, the middle center piece. And I took some of the grunge fabrics in different colors and tried to pull out colors of the bikes and, you know, the backgrounds and things and tried to, you know, uh, staggered the two and a half inch strips so it looks like it has movement. And then um, I had some black grunge and white grunge and I really didn't know what to do with these faces. It kept me up at night <laughs> trying to figure out what I was going to put in there. And a friend suggested um, some checkered flags, which I thought was great. So I ended up making checkered flags in these little four patches. And then I just staggered them down on each side, which really makes the driver in the middle kind of look like he's racing through the finish line. Um, the background fabric. The background fabric, I had bought this from Hobby Lobby. Um, it is very soft, um, but it's cotton. Um, not flannel, but it, it's kind of soft like flannel. I don't know. It just has a really nice feel to it. And I love this color because it looks like dirt. So um, on the bottom here, I will show you the other two um, bottom panels. And you can see I framed out light and darks with some colors that really fit the quilt. And the, the binding on this, I took some leftover fabric that I had. Um, from the background and I just binded it in um, the brown dirt color. The backing, the backing was from Joann's and I did the quilting in a tire tread pattern, which I'm hoping you can see on the back here. And I used the Oregon trail brown thread to quilt this in. So the, the back, you can really see the brown tire tracks on it because it's just like a slate blue color. But yeah, it blends in nicely on the dirt brown of the background and you can kind of see it through the pictures on the quilt so it really really turned out great i really hope that my little nephew enjoys well he's not little anymore he's grown <laughs> but i really hope that he enjoys this quilt um it's special and i did put a tag on the back here and i'm thinking let me just aim that up so you can see that a little bit I did put a little tag on here and it was just heat and bonded on and I sewed it on and it's sewn by, and I put Auntie Marnay because I am his auntie. His mom is actually my niece, so I'm his auntie. 
and a country farmhouse closing and then of course I put his name on it and graduation 2023. So this just really makes a nice nice gift. So I'm going to get this wrapped up and get on to the graduation party and hopefully my nephew Mason loves this quilt. I love you Mason. I'm very proud of you and um, I hope that you enjoyed my little video idea here. Like I said this was no pattern, no rhyme or reason. I mean of course I had a reason, but um, I just threw it together. I didn't, you know, it's just imagination at its best. And you can do this too, um, to make yourself a great quilt out of a panel and a little creativity. So I hope you enjoyed me sharing this little video with you on Mason's Quilt. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you love. Um, any comments, leave me a comment, tell me what you think, you know, um, if it sparks your interest, you know, so, um, don't forget to check out my other video too, the, the quilt giveaway that I'm doing, um, and get signed up, leave a comment on that, and maybe you'll be the winner of the little quilt that I have up for, um, a giveaway. All right, I will chat at you later. Bye.